found me a nice little piece of well-lit grass down here and just outside of Baton Rouge. So, we're doing our iron butt today. I was gonna break it into two days, but we're so close. So what the hell, we might as well put the tiger to the test, put my body to the test. Let's see what happens. So far, tiger's been performing flawlessly. Only problem I have is a little bit with the cruise control hesitation. When you're trying to come back on cruise, it'll drop down a few miles per hour more than I'd like instead of staying within like a one mile an hour parameter. Electronic windscreen, that's cool, but I have it up the whole time except for when I was going through Atlanta and stop and go traffic, a few other accidents on the interstate. We want to bring it down to get a little air on ourselves, so that's about the only times I was adjusting it. Everything else is freaking amazing on that sucker. Fuel economy, we're working out right now. I'm only getting about 200 miles per tank, cruising around 75, 80 miles an hour. But this beautiful Scorpion Yukon gear is amazing. I was in fluctuations from 25 degrees from 90 degrees down to 65 degrees and it was perfect. It was a little warm in that 85 plus temperature range, but it was tolerable and it got me super comfortable when I got down into the night. Talking about night. In Mississippi. Mississippi mud? No boy, it's all about the Mississippi bugs. <laughs> you should see the front of this motorcycle. It was almost like it was raining. We hit so many bugs as soon as dark hit. But now we're back out moving along and having a great time. So we left today at around 1248 with 1816 miles. Now, we did get a cheer too because we went through time zones, so I got an extra hour of riding. We we're just clicking over what would be for you guys 1241, it's 1141 here, almost midnight, and we are looking at 2,483 miles. So we've got over 600 in and almost 700, and we only have about 400 more to go. So we're gonna go meet up with Nate Kern at his hotel room in the morning, get ready for some Moto GP practice on Thursday. It's going to be some great time. So if you're on the way down there, you're already there. Make sure to stop by Nate's setup, man. He'll be wandering around. You'll find old Nate. And uh, what else is so badass? My, my CD boots from my donation. Pow! Superb! Temperature is not an issue from the hot to the cold. My feet aren't sweating. They feel protected. It's making the bike feel perfect. I was almost contemplating once I had all that load on the motorcycle, reduce the weight or reduce the saddle height just to be more comfortable. But with these boots on, I just fit that Tiger 1200 perfect, which is amazing for me because I get that extra level of cushion for this long ride that we're going to be doing. I'm kind of cheating a little bit because I'm doing most of the route that we're going to be doing on the Motoman ride, Project 19, the first two legs, I'm taking them out mostly one day. So we started out about 5 o'clock this morning, got up, wiped the burgers out of my eyes, headed down to Christiansburg, picked up some Moto Man, my parents that took me down to Greenville, South Carolina, went to Touring Sport, got in and out of there in no time flat with the new Tiger 1200 XCA and Matt Marine, which it's got to be. And then we're going to be hooked up with... Uh, Nothing but miles for the whole weekend, you know? Go out and do some fun, some MotoGP. So we left there at like, what I was saying, 1248. And we've done about 12 hours of riding. So we've got about six more hours and we're gonna be in Austin, Texas. I'll try to get some good sunrise action for you. I think the biggest thing I need to do is get some hydration on. Eat some trail mix, get some Gatorade, some water in me. That's one thing I was pounding down while we're going down the interstate, but it's not enough, man. We gotta keep drinking. Last stop, or two stops ago, I didn't pee. And that's not a good sign. So I pounded more water, doubled it up on the last stop. Now I'm ready to go. But unfortunately, they aren't ready for me to go. Everybody's closed up now. I want to de-robe a little bit. Just the stress of having a helmet on my neck for this long. The VA told me I wouldn't be riding anymore. I said, that's not an option. But now my lower back's what's kicking my butt. But we can fight through that. That's simple, man. You break the pain, and you'll be on for the next trek. Oh, so I did have to get one of these little Optimate USB converters for the Euro socket, which has been very beneficial. The problem with theirs are it's one USB on the top, 
one on the front with the Tiger when you have this in the center mount, the handlebars come and they tap the rubber but don't put any pressure on it. So you wouldn't be able to use the USB but you can use the top. I guess when you're stopped you can use it but the only time this is operating is when the bike is running. Put my little magnetic tank bag on there so we can have a little extra storage room on this guy. Ended up stopping a couple times and moving things around on each leg that I was doing and compressing my pack down tighter and tighter. It's amazing how much this bag holds. Everything, all my camera equipment, my light weather riding jacket, another cold weather jacket, everything is in there. Except for my clothes, which I got in my Cortec on the back. Got an extra three-quarter helmet because you never know what's going to happen. You might want to breathe a little bit more than the Scorpion EX0950. And we've got uh, nothing else going on, man. Just a blank mind, having tons of time. And that's one of the best things about this trip is that you get an amazing amount of time to think, just process what's going on in life and the world and think of other things that are going on. I have to show you something though, because this is one of the things I was thinking about. It's gonna take me a second to get this back off of my tree here. But this is cool, you're gonna like this. So whoever puts the post on of what this represents to me is gonna be a big winner. What's that? What is that? That's an amazing license plate. There's a big significance to that. So put a comment in there and tell me what the significance of the expiration of my plate has to do with Motorman and Nate Jennings. Give you a quick walk around the old tiger. So we've got our XCA. We're outfitted with the spoked or sp yes, yeah, spoked tubeless rims. Our shaft drive. Triumph quickest shift for clutches upshift and a downshift. We got engine protection bars already mounted. The aluminum sump guard. We're hooked up with. Uh oh, I found me a blemish on this guy. Oh well, it's probably me kicking around all over on it. Auxiliary lights. The LED bank lighting on this beast, our bug ridden tall screen that we get with the XCA model. It's gonna be a little dark on this side, but it'll glow. Our titanium carbon fiber tipped aero exhaust. And that's on that new Torquey 1200 power plant with 141 horsepower, 90 foot pounds of torque. So she's got plenty of juice when you just wick it up. The TFT, beautiful display. We'll key that beast up for ourselves here. And it's an amazing display. Got our electronic windscreen adjustment that we can utilize and find easily with our joystick down at the bottom. Notice how everything is backlit for ourselves too. So our heated seats, heated grips, Auxiliary lights, cruise control, mode selection, turn signals, and our joystick that allows us to modulate through everything. This side's pretty simple. Get the power cables out of the way. Your home button. Run cycle and kill switch as well as your hazard lights. So it is a keyless ride motorcycle. You don't have to worry about having a key going to the ignition. Only thing you need a key for is the fuel fueler. So we're gonna get back on the road here in a hot second. We've had enough of a break talking to you guys and we'll be hitting you back up here shortly from Austin, Texas. So thanks for watching. We got our bike picked up. We've done the first 650, 700 some miles on it. I forgot already, cause it's been a long day and we're gonna keep on trucking. And we'll catch you guys in Austin for MotoGP. Have a good day.